Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, crime, I've got a review for you of the wonderful mystery novel Death and the Conjurer by Tom Mead. So one of the things I really love about the crime genre is just how broad it is. A lot of the crime fiction I talk about on the channel is from the kind of darker, bleaker end of the crime spectrum. So authors like Derek Raymond, who write fantastically horrific and horrible and depressing books, um, which despite how horrible and horrific and depressing they are, I really, really love. Um, but there's a lot more to the crime genre than that. I've also talked, you know, fairly recently on the channel about the more kind of thrillery side of, of crime fiction. So, um, you know, like that the Happen Leonard series by Joel Lansdale, for example. Um, and also, I love, you know, the kind of hard-boiled, two-fisted style of, of detective fiction written by people like Raymond Chandler. But there's another side to crime fiction, which I haven't read enough of, and I was very fortunate this month to do a buddy read of this wonderful book, Death in the Cundra, uh, with one of my patrons, Randy Ray, the host of the channel The Literate Texan, a channel that's well worth checking out. And I think Randy, who knows a lot more about this kind of fiction, um, is doing a review of this video today as well, so look out for that. So Randy suggested we read this as a buddy read and I'm so glad we did. It was absolutely wonderful. And this is what I would call a pure mystery novel. It's a book that's, you know, kind of a puzzle and the enjoyment in the book comes very much from figuring out, you know, trying to figure out for yourself the solution to the mystery. So it's a book that's playful and thoughtful and really, really engaging um, and that pays homage to the kind of classic crime fiction of the 20s and 30s you know what's often known as kind of the golden age of this style of mystery fiction um, so this is a book that only came out this uh, last year so it came out September 2023 um, we're just we're just in the new year now and I'm still getting my years muddled up but yeah it came out in 2023 um, and I'm really glad I read it and I really want to read more by this author so I believe he's written some short stories about the same characters that are in Death and the Cundra and there's a sequel to Death and the Cundra that, that's out as well so I will definitely be reading that so this is a book set in London in 1936 um, about a locked room murder. So locked room murders, if you don't know, you may be able to guess from the name, are murders that take place where when the corpse is found, the room appears to have been completely locked, hermetically sealed, no way anyone could get in or out. So how did the murder take place? Um, so yeah, a psychiatrist is murdered in this book. And he has three mysterious patients who are referred to initially in the book as patients A, B and C. And you gradually come to, to learn who these people are and the part they play in the mystery. Um, but not content with that, um, Tom Mead throws in two other locked room mysteries in the course of the investigation. Um, so there are two other things that happen, and I won't spoil the book by saying what they are, but two other things that happen that that have a you know kind of similarly mysterious environment that they take place in where you know that the the detectives and the reader um, are left puzzled as to how these things could have taken place so the book as a whole really plays on that kind of that the delight in puzzling things like that the delight in trying to trying to figure out how these things could possibly happen um, and what's really really wonderful about this particular book is Tom Mead is obviously a bit of an, of an aficionado of locked room mysteries um, and his characters are also familiar with locked room mysteries. So the, the two central detectives um, in this book are Inspector Flint, who's a fairly kind of straightforward Scotland Yard uh, detective, um, and Joseph Spector, who is a magician. So Joseph Spector is a stage magician, um, and he's been involved in creating stage illusions for a play, which is kind of central to, to the plot of the book. Um, and he's the one who knows all about locked room mysteries. And there are some great scenes in this where he kind of lists out all the classic styles of locked room mysteries and, and the solutions to those um, and compares those to the facts of the case. Um, Gradually, as the as the plot unravels, um, you know he he's able to to tick things off his list, and eventually, you know, obviously, as it is a mystery novel, he gets to the to the solution at the end. There's a wonderful bit at the end of towards the end of the book as well, where the author pauses the book, and I think this is a technique that was often used in that kind of golden age fiction, where you know, kind of about eighty percent through the book. 
the book kind of stops and you just get a chapter that says, right, you now have all the facts of the case um, available to you. Can you figure out who the murderer is? Um, I have to say, I couldn't. I had some theories um, and some of my theories ended up being, you know, kind of red herring. So they were things that were plausible, I guess, that the author had thought about, but not the actual solution to the case. Um, but yeah, it just is fun. It's a very lightly written book. It's got some nice comic touches to it. Um, there is some darker stuff in here. You know, the actual solution to the mystery, if you like, does have a bit of darkness in it. Um, but as a whole, this is a just a, an enjoyable, fun, playful book. I really, really enjoyed it enormously. And I'm keen to read more uh, by Tom Mead, but also more of this style of fiction. Um, so if you're a fan of this kind of golden age, locked room mystery style fiction, do let me know in the comments who else I should be checking out. I know that John Dixon Carr, um, the author, was very well known for this kind of thing. I don't think I've read anything by him. I do have on my Kindle a um, an Otto Penzler um, collection of Locked Room Mysteries, which I have been reading and I need to go back to. But yeah, I know John Dixon Carr is well known for this kind of thing. And he is indeed referenced in Death and the Conjurer as a, uh, you know, kind of one of the great writers of, of Locked Room Mysteries. But yeah, if you know any others, please do let me know what they are in the comments. So I hope you found that interesting. If you're a fan of Locked Room Mysteries, do let me know in the comments. And as I say, let me know any recommendations uh, you've got for authors I should check out. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.